Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video. Hide your kids, hide your wives, and especially put that cookie down right now. Put that cookie down. I'm talking about the WWE type of beef between Captain Canada and the homie America's number one most toxic gamer, man. Who am I talking about? I'm not talking about the BBC bundle, guys. Focus up. We're talking about Blame Truth and Captain Canada, better known as Eight Thoughts, better known as AKA Ocho Pensamiento, AKA Ghost of Eight, all right? Yeah. Let's get into this drama, man, because I'm telling y'all, it's like Biden versus uh, Trudeau that, that's going down right now. Like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're brand new, roll it. Blame Truth is an idiot. Everything in this video right here, we finally have Call of Duty player numbers, and they're horrendous, is 110% wrong and false. The entire video is completely wrong. The math is wrong. Everything about this video is entirely fake. I have been telling people this, no matter what you think about the game, I've been saying this for the longest time, Blame has been trying to tell you, Call of Duty's dead. Everything he Damn. has been saying is not true, and everything I've been saying about how the game may be dead to you and your perception, because you're older, you don't like the game, you're tired of it, is true, and that the fact the actual player base is strong, and there are a lot of people playing the game, and the people Holy and crap. the stats that he uses right here from this- Man, yo, what if like Ghost of It ended up getting like a, like a 10,000 Call of Duty points in, in the mail though? This entire video for this entire video and the guy that he actually references sub one kd and his pool uh -huh. deep dive into the actual stats of the people who are playing the game and how many people are actually playing the game he got it wrong he didn't even actually bother to watch a video or did oh my god so yeah i saw that video from the homie uh captain uh, not captain canada uh, we're watching captain canada but like from the homie blame truth right so you're saying he made a video on this video but he didn't watch the entire video before he made his video bum bum god come on dog come on blame truth how are you gonna leave captain canada a chance man i always hated when my superheroes fight like that bro like first we had superman call of shame bad boy beeman which is batman right Bruh. both of those suckers are fighting and now we got captain canada and america's number one toxic gamer man fighting this this some bull splash dog this is like <laughs> This is like Biden versus Trudeau happening right now. This was not on my bingo card, dog. Didn't pay attention to it. And this guy, Sub1KD, which is basically the premise for this entire video and how he got the numbers and the actual facts for the player facts? base is wrong. Blame truth is wrong. Make that clear. He did not understand this guy's point and didn't understand the stats right. He is wrong. And then he makes this entire video on it and it's all off and made up and it's all wrong. just bullshit. Wrong. And in this video, I will show you exactly what the actual player numbers are, how blame truth is wrong, and how this guy himself even said, yes, blame truth is actually wrong and doesn't know holy crap so even so the guy you're saying the guy blame truth made the video on first of all he didn't watch the entire video made his video on and, and, and the guy that he made the video from he also said that he's wrong come on man like yo just just, just let that slide bro just 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 let that slide for 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 all time sakes bro like just don't do it man come on man like you know like you you both are the only two people that kind of exposed the activision bull squash and now you guys fighting each other how many call of duty points you got captain canada huh tell me that right now bro we're talking about and it's all just bullshit like i've been saying for the longest time and people don't want to hear the truth call of duty's dead I'm like listen i know it is dead no, you don't bro, like don't it me, i don't bro. like it it's going to Making sucks the sweats yes it's dead for people like us the ogs but for everyone else which we aren't part of in the skill-based matchmaking protected lobbies on the yeah. other side of the damn world or where the hell these people are playing from in their freaking cribs their little kitties I okay so it looks like that captain canada did not get a check in the mail looks like that he's still like kind of like on oversight so that's uh that's a w okay you know we like it we like it we like it, we like, it, we like, it, we like, it like but but still though like come on man like what i i think i figured it out i feel like that captain canada no disrespect though you know no disrespect captain canada if you're watching i know you a little bit uh not not a little bit you just fully bald let, let's be real Bruh. and nothing wrong with that bro like you you look like a giga chat okay yeah, absolutely facts okay bonafide facts you look like a giga chat but, uh, but but i think i figured it out i think the the fact that blame truth once took that sponsorship deal which talks about like you know like putting that retweet helmet on top of it, and then it's gonna like grow like here uh like that tick, 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 like that May maybe that's what got you mad and now you're like exposing you're on that exposed train come on bro like don't do that bro like uh, you know like
I don't know. I'm just saying Trudeau would never do that, you know? But Trudeau is Trudeau, though. I, I, there's I, a yeah. lot of people playing the game. Oh, and man. what Blame Truth tries to do is show you that there's no one playing the game, but he doesn't even count the numbers right, doesn't even include the actual player base completely. He actually just only counts the PC player. Anyways, you know, I'll get into it and show it to you in this video, and I'll explain to you very clearly how he's 100% wrong and what the actual player base is, oh, not my. whatever Blame Truth said in this video, which was... 750,000 people completely wrong there. I'm sorry. I got to call him out. He calls other people idiots. He called Hutch an idiot, made a whole bunch of videos making fun of him. So when you make a mistake as big as this and you've been wrong for the entire, I don't know, year now, and I've been saying it's not dead. We're all idiots. Sorry. It's not dead. I can touch. To be honest though, like it's subjectively, you can say it's dead, but objectively it's not. I think the multiplayer is dead though. Let's be real. But, but Warzone is kind of like pulling the numbers up, right? Like Warzone is the bread and butter. And especially like when Sigas are buying the skins, when Sigas are buying the friendly union, when Sigas are buying the BBC bundles, when Sigas are playing, and Sigas are constantly buying. I mean, for crying out loud right now, okay? Like my name was Nero Shenima. But but here's the thing though, and guys, it's a fact, right? Like Modern Warfare 3 was the number two best selling game, or number three best selling, correct me if I'm wrong, but I tell you it was number two best selling game of last year. And here's the thing the game that beat Modern Warfare 3 was Hogwarts Legacy. And guess what? Hogwarts Legacy came out earlier in the year, I believe February of 2023, and Modern Warfare 3 came out uh, November, November the 10th, right? So it had less than two months, and it became the, the, the best-selling game regardless. Bruh. You feel what I'm saying? And in January of 2024, it was the best-selling game. Uh, Sigas always are complaining, myself included. All of us are complaining. Some for right reasons, other for wrong reasons, but collectively, the game, let, let's agree to disagree, right? Like, the game is not the same. I think on this one, most people can agree on. Uh, it's not the same. It's no longer the same. It's riddled with the bundles, that $20 bundle, $30 bundles. Recently, they came out with that Dune skin as well, on which you gotta, apparently, allegedly, you gotta spend, like, 50 bucks. Uh, it, it's going downhill, uh, that I agree with, but suckers don't care. Suckers would be talking about how bad the game is, but suckers would still be buying, though. It's not dead, and I was right. I'm always right. I'm just say, guys, listen. I know you guys don't want to hear the truth sometimes because you know the truth is a hard thing to hear. I'm right, okay? You guys do realize I really am the truth. I am the guy. I am that one, okay? You got to get used to it. Sometimes, you know, I just say stupid shit. But at the end of the day, I'm, Je I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus Christ, Call of Duty League Yo, Game and Whoa, That's whoa, it. All hey, right, so let me get this real. I started a lot. Hey, hey, cut the crap, bro. Cut the crap. As a Muslim, I'm offended by that, bro. Because we follow Jesus too, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, cut the crap, bro. I know you're joking around, but nah, cut the crap, bro. Quickly explain to you how he's totally wrong. I'm totally right. Blame Truth is an idiot. So what it is is this. This guy here called KLG Sub 1 KD is an older dude, math dude. And he is breaking down how people like to use the Steam charts to tell you how good Call of Duty is or isn't. And what he did is he broke it all down and explained to you that that is not actually a proper representation as Steam only counts for 5% of the Call of Duty player base. Okay, let me repeat that again. As I've said before in the past, no one plays Call of Duty on Steam, all right? Yeah. No one plays Call of Duty on nah, Steam. I mean, Steam is the most popular, so what are you gonna say, like Battle.net? Because, yeah, Battle.net is the main for Call of Duty, but how many of you guys, okay, if you play on, on PC right now, okay, if you play Call of Duty on PC, are you playing on Battle.net or Steam? I, I feel like that if the game is, like, cheaper to buy on Battle.net, then most people would buy on Battle.net, okay, makes sense, though. I'm not sure about the prices because I'm not, like, a like a PC gamer, uh, more of a console gamer, uh, right? So, yeah, I, I think it depends on the price, but... As somebody who does not play on PC, Bruh. I think like Steam is the most popular platform though, right? Like I, I, I suppose that Steam would have the higher higher numbers, uh, uh, but consoles obviously supreme. Let's uh, PlayStation it's supreme on then Xbox when it and comes PC. to PC. Because what happened was in the past is that they were a Activision shareholders meeting where Bobby yeah. Kotick explained how many people were playing everywhere else, and these numbers down here on the right is what exactly we came to with 35.7 daily active users on mobile. There's the PC. PC, PlayStation, uh, Xbox, right? And Dang. these are in the million. I don't know, man. Like, is that really true, though? Mobile? Yeah, mobile, understandable. But PC over PlayStation and Xbox? Nah, man. I thought it was like PlayStation, Xbox, and then PC. And then we heard... Her, uh Heard, heard reports and it came down to hey playstation first then pc and then at the end xbox obviously mobile is like up in front everybody loves to uh, play on mobile okay <laughs> everybody loves <laughs> buying the uh, 
<laughs> Everybody loves buying the friendly UAV online on the on the mobile by the looks of it. So I mean that's uh, I mean suckers love friendly UAV online. Suckers love friendly UAV online. Okay. Millions and people were saying, well, you know, I'm not sure what's going on here. How many people are actually playing concurrent players? Blah blah blah. What's the actual yeah. stats? And this dude here uh, went down Matthew. and figured out what the actual player stats are because the only stat we have to go by is Steam. And everyone's like, oh, look how bad the numbers are on Steam. It's so down, so bad. And then we can use that to show what the rest of the community is down so bad. And I've been saying, no, you can't because no one plays Call of Duty on Steam. And this guy said five percent of the player base is on Steam. He did all the math, did it, figured it out. It's like a 20 minute long video. I watched it on stream the other day. The point he comes to is that there are 65,000 concurrent players on Steam. On Dang. Steam. All right? 65,000 on Steam right now. Okay, 65,000, which is only 5% to 10% of... Okay, so 1 million players a day, 9.2% of the PC player base, 65,000 average, 25% uh, on PC. Okay, so you're saying just uh okay 25 percent on pc 17.5 million pc okay is that uh for call of duty warzone War, uh and modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 i'm talking about obviously 2022 and 2023 version because they combine all of those games uh player count together because i, I think player player numbers are surely down but it's still like the top selling like let's let's be real it, it still is I, I understand what the point that ghost of it is making uh like on a real though like jokes aside i understand the point he's making blame truth uh, i mean he uh, I, I yeah i think he kind of fumbled the bag on the numbers though but he's not that wrong, wrong. though you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always hate it when my superhero spy, though. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm trying to defend Blame Truth right now. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Of know, the man. player base, which means that there are 700 and plus thousand, up to eight, maybe 900,000 active users, not active, yeah. concurrent players on PC alone. Brilliant. Okay, let me make that clear. 800,000 players concurrently, maybe even more, on PC alone. Yeah, to be honest though, like it kind of makes sense because this is why they were like a strong independent and this is why they came out, talked about skill based matchmaking and literally pissed on our heads and said that no bro, we're not gonna, we're not gonna remove the skill based matchmaking. So yeah, basically they, they said that without actually saying it. You know that happened like a couple of months ago, right? We heard about the skill based matchmaking, yeah, the same algorithm that, in which you would play five games and those seconds would know. Whether you have a BBC, BWC, or LBC, or LWC. Bruh. Yay! And these seconds know how many kids you're gonna have in the future. These seconds know how many, uh, if you are high IQ enough to continue a bloodline or not. Yeah, these seconds know everything about you, bro. These seconds know more about you than you know yourself, bro. A absolutely, absolutely. Look down to the right here. That's Algorithm PC. Crazy. So out of this group of 17.5 million daily active users, there are about... 1 million, 800,000, 1 million, somewhere in that ballpark, give or take. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot yeah. of margin for errors, but at the very least, 750,000 on PC. That's what Blame Truth tried to run with the title. That's when people are playing Call of Duty right now. There's only 750,000 people playing across. And he's even said, that's pretty good for most games. But what the guy did, what the guy did was completely misunderstand the whole thing and didn't even conclude PlayStation. And Xbox. Bad. So when we add PlayStation and Xbox together, what's 11.2 plus 5.6? 16.8, which is almost the same. Yeah, this is a WWE top beef, man. This is like some white people shots right Bad. now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, listen, listen, like, the, the point that Ghost of Aid is making is not wrong, clearly. Uh, 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 and, and I get the points that the, the homie Blame Truth is making, too. But yeah, the, the homie Ghost of Aid is on, like, exposing Binge, or, binge right now. Maybe he's going to expose me as well. He, uh, he already exposed me on stream the other day. I was watching his stream, so, you know, that happened as well. But, but like, come on, dog. Like, what are we doing here, bro? They, they're turning eight thoughts as well right now, man. That's crazy, bro. Like, Trudeau trying to expose Biden right now. If you put on, those man. two right here together, the bottom right, you see my little mouse there. It's 11 .7, 5 .6, and you add it together, it equals almost this. Almost 1 million people, give or take 100,000 or so, are playing on the PC, and then you run with those numbers as if that's the only numbers for Call of Duty Online. You have completely negated the PlayStation and the Xbox numbers, which is also close to 1 million, maybe 700,000, 600,000, and you have cut the numbers down by more than half. So you are, are pushing a fake narrative, CNN, Blame Truth. Uh, and CNN I even reached out and blame. asked this guy if Blame Truth got it wrong. He replied back, yes, he is wrong. Oh my oh, god, oh, bro. Oh my god. I think it's over for the red pill content. Blame truth, red pill. Uh, what type of pill you guys think? Uh, uh, yeah, the, the homie Ghost of It is trying to, like, uh, 
give us, right? Like, uh, Blame Truth Red Pill, I don't know, man, White Pill, Black Pill, well, what type of pill, Blue Pill maybe even? Like, how many pills are there, right? I know about, like, Blue, Red, uh, so I guess t talk about Black Pill, which I don't, uh, yeah, like, I'm not sure what Black Pill actually stands for, but, but yeah, I, I don't know, maybe Blue Pill, let's, let's go with Blue Pill right now, yeah. Wrong. You are it, Todd. So his entire video here, he got it entirely wrong. wrong. And I'm gonna say, hey wrong. man, you may not like the- Did he actually smash a like button on that though? <laughs> Yo, he smashed that like button. He smashed that like button. <laughs> Uh, like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, guys. Uh, make sure, uh, let's go for two likes, guys. Air video here. Uh, I'm gonna smash a like button on the homie in Costa Vita, too, you know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, let's make it square here. Okay? He got it entirely wrong. And I'm gonna say, hey, man, wrong. you may not like the game. It may be dead to us. You may not enjoy it. It sucks. I got that. I'm not arguing that. I'm totally on board with that, 110%. But you can't sit here and push a bunch of bullshit and then try to make videos on it when you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about, blame truth. You, you're totally wrong. You literally cut the numbers down less than half of what they actually are to try to push a narrative it's bullshit at least if you're gonna do something and hate on something you gotta base it a bit on reality you can't just make i get that but honest to god bro like me seeing like eight thoughts like i i know he's not still fully siding with call of duty yet the keyword is yet but i see the transition happening right now i never thought we're gonna see the homie ghost of it like turn like that bro this was not on my bingo card though because from the memories bro like it taught such a character he is ghost of it right now um maybe he has yeah he's schizophrenia he said that on stream so yeah it's ghost of it right now but but like such a character right like going from exposing white boy 7th street alia the t martins with his like dirty g blue jeep he used to be like with best friend brock and all that going from that to like now defending call of duty nah man like this was not on my finger i guess character development right character development yeah character development i guess character make development. up nonsense and be like oh yeah call of duty's dead and then do a video and completely just retard the whole freaking stats and the thing is too man and that just goes to show this is how easy it is to manipulate your fan base this is how easy to manipulate people on youtube this is how easy it is to simply just lead people with fake news because if you go down and look at the comments everybody was Agreeing, they don't know. They don't know. See, look at one of the most top comments. Activision always be showing off most played game, most downloaded game. Something impressive. The fact that they hide no, the numbers man. means they're bad. Simple as that. Man, don't attack the fans, bro. Don't attack the fans like that. No, they're man. not. People like Blame Truth are like CNN of Call of Duty. <laughs> they're fake news. <laughs> now, honestly, this kind of and I talked about it previously as well. Uh, there was a study done, right? So there were two people. Uh, I'm going somewhere with this one. This will make you think. Okay, this will open up your third eye. So there was a study done. Okay, there were two people. One was a journalist, and one was a guy that loved to travel around the world and both of them on separate computers their laptops right so journalist had his laptop the, the traveler the guy that loves to travel the world had his own laptop so both of them searched egypt and you want to know what google showed them the journalist guy sees all the bad stuff like you know explosion there you know the bad stuff happening in egypt the guy that loves to travel what was he seeing beautiful restaurants he was seeing all the good places to be in egypt the good activities to do so this kind of tells us that the algorithm really cages you right if you're a certain type of person if you like one type of content and for example we're talking call of duty here right so if you love uh like the hate call of duty videos you're probably gonna be bombarded by that right and i, I think blame truth uh, is targeting those people and those people are watching this video nothing wrong with that i, I mean it's free therapy right like at the end of the day the way i see it is just video games right it's like banter, toxic gamer rant kind of ish. Uh, I'm 27 right now, so I don't necessarily care for that. When I was 16, yeah, I would get mad if you said anything mean about my game uh, or something. But now I'm out of that phase. So whether you love it, you hate it, that's cool by me though. I know some of you sick is watching this video. You love the game though. Some of you not so much. Others are waiting for Treyarch, and uh, some of you are like, nah, bro, I'm outy, bro. But you're still watching the videos because you're kind of like used to it, I guess. You you are into the Call of Duty, it, some to some degree. I mean, this is something that you enjoyed in the past or you currently enjoy i mean the point here is this that like uh, the algorithm really really cages you so the algorithm knows you more than you know yourself dog like as it's expected, as who would have thought there's a right? reason Activision won't actually release it themselves. Another thing, too, I will say, before I finish this video, I will say this. The numbers aren't going to be as good as they used to be. 110%. There was like 3 the million people though, playing Call of Duty back in the day during the heyday. Doing good. That was like 12, 14 years ago. Okay, that's yeah. over a decade ago. Almost a decade yeah. and a half ago. The prime of Call of Duty. 
the fact that there's like one to two, well, actually, no, 1.5 to 2 million people still playing Call of Duty on the worst year. Let me put it this way. This is on supposed to be year, the yeah. worst year of Call of Duty. This is like, it's down so bad. No one's playing the game. It's horrible. The mm. numbers are so awful. And then you have 1.5 million at least playing the game still. Which and, is and like, yeah, you're right on that one. And the craziest thing, and this is why, like, I, I've been saying, guys, like, boycotts, especially in gaming, doesn't work. And you throw Call of Duty in, boycotts would not work. I still haven't bought Modern Warfare 3. Did I not buy because I was supporting the boycott? I guess you can say that, but my main reason of not buying Modern Warfare 3 was because, like, I don't like it that much. I'm waiting on Treyarch for sure. Hopefully their game is good and I can get back into it. It was a nice taken break, I guess. But like, Sega's don't care, man. Like, so, and their BBC bundles, sales are up. Guys, click on this video on the screen. Recently, we caught two of the biggest, not two of the biggest, only one of these Sega's were caught cheating. Dr. Disrespect catches. Z laner cheating though. Yay. Check this video out. On the left though, we had a massive video that we did as well. Uh, I, I think you guys will like it. I mean, the, the thumbnail kind of crazy, right? Right? I know it's kind of crazy. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right